Okay, so some of you guys have been asking if I have any tips or tricks about how to deal with writer's block. And unfortunately, unfortunately, I do have some tips and tricks on that because I have a lot of experience. Ugh. I think the first thing to remember is like, you're not going to explode. It's gonna be okay. I've known a lot of people with writer's block and not one's detonated so far. That's not to minimize how scary it can be because like, it can be really scary, but I actually think there's a lot of comfort to be taken from the knowledge that it's pretty common. Another thing that really helps me a lot is the idea that if I'm struggling with a particular scene, if that's the scene that's blocking me, that scene might not actually be the problem. One of my mentors in film school told me this great story about Michael Mann, who's a pretty successful director. The story goes that he was talking with an executive, and the executive said, you know that scene where the wife is seducing the husband's business partner? She should be wearing like a, a red dress, like a really great slinky red dress. And this probably understandably made Michael Mann pretty angry. He was like, you're giving me wardrobe notes now? But the problem wasn't actually the wardrobe. The problem was that the executive didn't believe as a reader that the wife as established previously in the script could seduce somebody else. So in other words, I try to ask the question behind the question or find the note behind the note. What is it that is really behind the current problem? And it just occurred to me that my main characters so far have always been guys, so if someone suggests that they wear a red dress, that's actually interesting and I will give it some thought. <laughs> now if I can't figure out what the problem behind the problem is, I do one of a couple things. I've said it before and I'll say it again, that rest is often the most productive thing you can do. Creativity, I think, is just the process of making decisions. And there have been a lot of scientific studies showing that there are only so many decisions we can make in a day. It's very possible to wear out your decision-making muscle. You gotta recover. You know, you just need some time. And during that time, I think it's also really helpful to read. Like, I recommend reading things that you like, that are in the genre, but also reading different things, like read nonfiction, read a biography of someone you kind of know about. You might pick up some ideas, because I think when we're really deep into a project, we do kind of filter the world through the lens of our project. But also, guys, and I'm just kind of saying this to myself, like, just have fun to have fun. That's it. Like, it's not work. You're not getting inspired for work. That's great. But also just, like, just play mini golf without wondering about the existential meaning of the clown mouth. It's God. So if these things aren't working, it really does help to have a couple trusted readers, not just to tell you what's not working, but to see the intent behind what isn't working. If you don't have those people, you can find them. There are forums, there are writers' conferences. And my final tip is something that I've kind of come to accept. You might not be a super fast writer. Stephen King seems to have a superhuman ability to write amazing novels twice a year, and I think I'm probably like an every two to three year guy. I spent a long time kind of wishing that were not the case, but it is. And I actually think there is a lot of power in reckoning with reality. So that's it for me, guys. So what do you think? What are your best tips for dealing with writer's block? Also, if you guys have anything you'd like me to cover in a future video about writing or books or what have you, just let me know in the comments, and I'll see you soon. Bye. I love you.